Problem 2. Calculate the depth of compression block. Since we already have the effective flange width, we now have the complete dimensions of our T-section. So in getting the depth of the compression block, we can now start with the equilibrium of the compressive force and the tensile force. So take note, the tensile force will come from 8 25 millimeter diameter D bars. So we have T is equal to 0.85 FC prime A times B, which is 2000. So meaning this is our imaginary stress block. So let's say this is A. So this is our compression block. So we equate this to ASFY, which is eight pi over four times twenty five squared times four one four. So we can now solve for the value of A. The depth of stress block or compression block is. 30.799 millimeters. And that is letter D. Problem 3. Calculate the net tensile strain if the effective depth is 622.5 millimeters. So let us now draw the complete section of our T beam with indicated dimensions. Okay, so I have simplified the drawing for our T section. So take note based on the problem, we have eight twenty-five millimeter diameter bars equally placed in two layers. Okay, so equally placed in two layers. So meaning there are four on the first layer and four bars on the other layer. So the effective depth, 622.5. So when you say effective depth, that is from the extreme fiber in compression up to the center of the reinforcement. Since we have two layers, the center of the reinforcement will be at the middle of the two layers. So the, the effective depth is this one, 622.5. So, for this problem, we are asked to get the net tensile strain. So, when we say net tensile strain, that is the strain at the farthest layer of tensile reinforcement. So, meaning, we always get the net tensile strain at the depth D sub T. When we say D sub T, that is from the extreme fiber in compression up to the center of the rebar at the farthest layer. So if we have two layers, D sub T is up to the farthest layer. Okay? And take note that our formula for the net tensile strain, epsilon T, that is simply 0 0.00 same. So if we have only one layer, we usually denote the D as the effective depth D. But in this case, we have to be more particular since we have two layers of reinforcement. We should make this as D sub T minus C over C. So we can, if we are asked to solve for the strain at any layers, we can do that. So we just have to change the distance D. So, for example, we are asked to solve for the strain at the first layer. So, we should use this distance, let's say, B sub 1. So, if we are asked to solve for the net tensile strain, that should be the farthest distance. So, up to the outermost layer of steel reinforcement. So, let us now solve for B sub T. Based on code, 
the vertical clear spacing between bars in two layers should not be less than 25 millimeters. So meaning, this clear distance should be 25 millimeters. Take note, from the center of these two layers up to the extreme fiber in compression, this is the effective depth. So in order to get D sub T, we will add half of 25 millimeters and another half of 25 millimeters to get the distance up to the center of this second layer. So this is now D sub T. Okay? So to solve for D sub T, that is D plus 25 over 2 plus 25 over 2. Or if we will put it in formula, this will be D sub V and then this will be S. Okay? So we have D is 622.5 plus 25 over 2 plus 25 over 2. Therefore, D sub T is 647.5 millimeter. We already have D sub T, so let us now compute for C. So take note, the relationship of A and C is beta times C. We already know the value of A, so let us now compute the value of beta. Since the given value of Fc prime is greater than 28 megapascal, so beta is computed using the following formula. 0.85 minus 0 0.05 over 7 times 31.05 minus 28. Therefore, beta equals 0 0.8282142857. So this is now beta. So we can now solve for the value of C. 37, 37.1883, 5, 6, 3, 3. Okay? We now have D sub T and C. So we can now talk for the net tensile strain, D sub T, that is 0 0.003 times 647.5 minus 37.18835633 over C. Therefore, the net tensile strain is 0 0.04923 Okay, and that is letter D.